Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to do histogram matching using Python. First, let us import the libraries. As always, I write a comment in each library to tell you the role of the library in this tutorial. Now let us load the input and the template image. I call the input image as an image variable and, and the template image as image template variable. First, we will do the histogram matching for GraphQL image. So here I set the argument as gray equal to true and in I'm read function from the scikit image library, when we read the image as a gray scale or set this as gray equal to true, this function will normalize the pixel value. So therefore here, I multiply the 255 to make the pixel value back to the 0 up to 255 or make the image in an 8-bit and set the data type as an unsigned integer 8. Okay, let us run this cell. Now you segment probably we preview the input in the template image. So this is the input image and this is the template image. Now let us calculate the cumulative distribution of pixel value using the cumulative underscore distribution function from scikit image. The input is the image variable and there are two outputs, the cumulative distribution and the pixel bins. Let us run this cell and this is the cumulative distribution of pixel value from input image. As you can see here, there are empty pixel value at the beginning as well as at the end of this line. And if we check the first and the last bins, we got the first bin value is equal to 18 and the last bin value is 256. This is mean that in input image, there is no pixel that has value less than 18 and larger than 255. To do the histogram matching, we should fill the cumulative probability less than 18 and larger than 256. Here I'm using numpy.insert to fill the cumulative probability of pixel value less than 18 and I'm using numpy.append to fill the cumulative probability of pixel values larger than 255. Let us run this cell. As you can see now, there is no gap in the beginning as well as in the end of this graph. Now let us do the same process for the image template. Alright, this is the cumulative probability pixel value from the template image. In this cell here, I plot the cumulative probability of pixel value from input image and the image template. Later, after we do the histogram matchings, the cumulative probability from input image will be the same as the template's image. Now, we are ready to perform the histogram match. First, we create an array of pixel value. Then, we interpolate the cumulative probability of image template into the cumulative probability of input image. Finally, we map this interpolation result into input image. The result is a flattened image or one-dimensional array. That is why here I received the result to make it two-dimensional array. Let us run this cell and now we preview the result. As you can see, the grayscale color in result image is the same as the template image. In this cell here, I put everything into one cell. This function will calculate the cumulative probability. This function will do the histogram matching. And using this function, we can plot the input image, template image, and the result image. So down here, I repeat all of this process. First, we load the input and the template image. Next, we calculate the cumulative distribution function all the cumulative probability pixel value from the input image and the template image and then we apply the histogram matching using the hismatch function and then plot the result let us run this cell all right the result now we will do the histogram matching in color image the process and the function that we need is the same as in grayscale image these two functions are the same as in the grayscale image where we calculate the cumulative distribution function and do the histogram matching. The difference here is we need to calculate the cumulative probability and histogram matching in every color channel using the for loop. Let us run this cell and see the result. Now the result from histogram matching is more clear as you can see the color in the result image is the same as the template image. That is all from this video. This Jupyter notebook file is available in my GitHub repository. You can download it for free. The link is available in the video description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial video.